MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Cleveland Indians and the Boston Red Sox. Both Sox will attempt to cap this four game series with a sweep. That's coming up next. Anibal Sanchez, the right hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty B, this ought to be a fun one to watch. This guy's been around the block for a while, but he's having a rock solid season with a real good ERA. It'll be really interesting to see how he attacks his opposing lineup. And here's the second generation big leaguer, Delino DeShields. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The left fielder, Delino. The first pitch of the at bat. Heading out towards shallow right. Verdugo's on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That is seven. The second base. Cesar Hernandez. So coming to the plate, Cesar Hernandez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that misses ball one. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest team in baseball right now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. What an opportunity to get a chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. So here's Francisco Lindor now. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. First pitch on its way. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Gary Simmons. You know, Dero, Gary Simmons, he's, he's one of those umpires. He'll give you one thing or the other. At times, his zone can be a little wide, and then he's a, a little more strict north and south, but he's a pretty consistent umpire. I just, uh, the key, Dan, is be consistent. You want to give him the inside half, I'm okay with that, but then you can't give him away. If you're going to stay east west, you better pick one side. Two out, nobody on. Indian shortstop behind one and two in the count. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. And Moreland will take this one to the bag himself, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Tribe. Cleveland nothing. Sox coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Savali will be on the mound for game four. What's your take on him, Dan? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Digging in, Andrew Benintendi. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And he popped him up. Lindor stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Two hits and 13 at bats in the series so far. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. So, fellas, this Indians ball club, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, they have to avoid the sweep right here, especially a four-game sweep. That can be devastating to the psyche of a team. It's okay. I, it happens. Throughout the course of a season, you're going to drop three in a row. But to get pounded four games by the same team can happen. The 1-1 one, one home. Bases are empty, one man out. Sinker 
three and two now. J.D. Martinez is on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Line softly toward the hole. In time to first, and there are two away. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He, too, had three knocks in yesterday's win. First pitch on its way. At the point. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0. Boom. 2 0. Hey. 2 0, 1 strike. Count. Bases are empty here with two men out. Cut fastball and there's strike two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. In the air now out to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. He's around first heading for two. And he is in the second with a two out double. Guys that jacks me up right there. That Kept his cool. front shoulder tucked. That's the cool hip stop. tucked. Was able to stay inside that slider and drive it the other way. Here's Xander Bogarts now, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Have to find a way to get that guy home from second now. Never know how important these early runs can be. Ready with the 0 and 1. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two out double. We're off to the second, scoreless on the show. So here's the cleanup hitter, Fran Moraes. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Here's the first pitch to him. Wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So a productive start to the inning for the tribe as their leadoff hitter is aboard. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' that swings. It usually takes them the a month or so to get it ironed out. Standing in, Jose Ramirez. And for him, you have to think a turnaround is coming. Clearly not going his way of late. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway it's nothing in one Reyes on at first nobody out that's over but low it's a ball and a strike one and two now is that one's fouled off And 
and a splitter here but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Just out in front of that one still two and two. Open to send him packing pitch on its way pulled toward right center field Bradley on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. That is it. The designated hitter. Domingo Santana. So a runner at first with one man gone. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. From the belt, the pitch. And that's cut on and missed, 0 oh, 1. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. And it's quickly 0-2. And, Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he struck him out. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was excellent because if it's put in play, there's a good chance that's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. Standing in now, Greg Allen. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Lifetime against Donibel Sanchez. He's one for three. Here it comes, 1 0. Oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The 1 2. And it's fouled away. The one two. Swung on in the dirt strike three. And that ends the inning. Indians leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Well, if you could throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Swing and a miss, it's 0 2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. So we got him looking there. Rafael Devers becomes the first out here in the bottom of the second. Standing in, Mitch Moreland. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Lays off 1-0. Bottom of the second here with no score. Line toward the gap in left center. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowan. He's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. to first base the tag will get him coming back to first it's a double play and the inning is over one hit in the inning but that gets erased we play two full and we are tied nothing nothing back now at Fenway Park home of the Red Sox who have certainly treated these fans to some impressive pitching so far this year at the start of the day, they have the highest strikeout total in the entire league and one of the best team ERAs. So it's no surprise some of the pitchers I talked to were proud of what they've accomplished and confident in what they're capable of. Despite the success, they explained how they really try to push each other to get better every day. As one of them put it, we have amazing stuff on this pitching staff. Just look at all the strikeouts. But we take pride in continuing to get better as a unit every single day. It sounds like they're always trying to stay one step ahead of the hitters, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball and no strikes. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. And he fouls this one off. The one two. Good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first down of the inning. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one or two enough. pitch, but you can the see that he play. wasn't laying down without a fight. He fight. really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. And the next batter will be Mike Freeman as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Third inning, no score to this point. 1 0 pitch is a splitter in there, 1 and 1. This is line to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. So now to the plate, Delino De Shields. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He flied out, leading off the ball game. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. The Shields is a guy that has a lot of speed, no doubt about that. And while that's certainly a weapon for him offensively, it could be argued that it benefits him just as much on the defensive side of the ball given the position he plays. And not only just speed, but first step quickness speed. He's able to track balls down that other guys cannot get to. And sometimes that's half the equation. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Throw over to first and the runner back safely. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit.
in now Cesar Hernandez as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one oh for one here in the early going. He's running. Pitch is high. The throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak. So when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that. So we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. Popped him up. Moreland has a play makes the catch and that'll retire the side one left for the tribe home half of the third coming up no score Here now is Jackie Bradley. In eight at bats in the series, he's collected three hits. First offering on its way. Bradley, or JBJ as the initials read. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. Late on that one is it's foul off to the left side. The 3 2 pitch. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Here's the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. First pitch coming, here it is. A runner at first with no outs here. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. And now he has some trouble with it in center. And he is in there. That's a big at bat from the bottom of the order. Yeah, Matty, right there. Worked himself into a nice situation. Got on, on base right there. Now, first and third, rolls the lineup over. Top of the order is licking his chops. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. Popped him up. Lindor backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Coming to the plate now, Alex Verdugo. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Here's the first pitch to him. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Sinker and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The 0-2 delivery. 
And this is a strike three called. Oh, caught a break there. Two away. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. Here comes the Indians manager to make that slow trip to the mound. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here, but I would imagine he's seething inside as he hasn't given up a run this afternoon. Nick Whitgren is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Nick Whitgren. Here's J.D. Martinez as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Whitgren offers up perhaps one of the nastiest sliders around, and it won't be uncommon to see a lot of off-balance swings against it, and it'll be easy to see why once you see it come out of his hand. He's got a huge break on it. He set the 0-1, and he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Action going on now in the Indians' bullpen as they have a left-hander up and getting loose. Oh and two here it is swing and a miss got him reaching throw to first and that gets him out of the jam so it's no runs on a hit no errors and two men left on three innings complete and we are tied nothing nothing. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on to get him in, but that hasn't been the case. And that's lifted the other way out to left. Benintendi coming up. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And here's Fran Reyes stepping in. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to the right side. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Another one sent foul. Ground ball right side, straight into the shift. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Indians go down one, two, three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Sander Bogarts. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Oh. A one one lifted in the air toward the line and right and foul the one two. High in the air into shallow left center. DeShields is there. 
looks it into his glove and there's one gone. So the base is empty here with one away and that brings up the third baseman Rafael Devers. First pitch coming here it is. Oh and one here it comes. This is popped up. Lindor over to his left. He's got it and there are two down now. now that. Coming to the plate now Mitch Moreland. He reached on a single in his first try. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Wind up and the 0 1. Moreland, originally from Mississippi, he was a 17th round pick back in the draft of 2007. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Two balls and a strike, here it is. Fastball is looked at for strike two. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Fouled away. Skied into straightaway right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three, through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Thank you, Heidi. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring Domingo Santana into the batter's box next. Domingo Santana. First pitch on its way. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. One zero is taken. Strike one. I got a ball. One strike. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Full count, three and two to the Indians' DH. Count still full, three and two. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Verdugo looks up. Gone into the home bullpen for a home run. It's a solo shot here for Domingo Santana. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Tribe move out in front one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Into the box now, Greg Allen. 
As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. At the ball. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. Three and two to the Indian center fielder. This one's down to third. Devers gloves it. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Stepping in, Roberto Perez. First delivery to him on the way. Nope, that's inside. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. The 1-0. Fly ball out toward right field. On the run is Verdugo. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. When you play in this park where the fences are shorter, this is going to happen more often than any other ballparks. to the plate now Mike Freeman slapped hard the opposite way that's in there base hit hey. now that so now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down At the plate, Delino De Shields. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0 home. Whoa, that's him. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. With one out and runners on the corners, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. The 3-0. And he won't even have to take the bat off. It's Moorings, a four-pitch walk here. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Into the box now, Cesar Hernandez. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, but everything looked clean. He was on time. He looked powerful in the box. I guarantee you he wants that swing back. He's he takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made, and here comes the runner from third. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. <laughs> the 
That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And now Boston's bullpen springs into action. A left-hander and a right-hander begin to throw. Two runs, five hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Two balls and two strikes to count to Francisco Lindor. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Here now the 2 2. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Good battle. Count remains full. The next 3 2. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And digging in now, Fran Reyes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Comes set, the 0 1. Right over the top with that curveball, and it's 0 2. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Pause and the 0 2 hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready on 0 2. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And it's fouled away. The set and the one two. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. One run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. That makes it a four nothing ball game. Boy, talking about having oh, ducks God. on the pond oh, right there, Dero. I know everybody okay. wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. Now the Red Sox skipper's up out of the dugout and on his way toward the mound. And it appears that'll be all for Anibal Sanchez. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds. And he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Marcus Walden trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Stepping in now, Jose Ramirez. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. That evens it up, 1-1. One and one. Two and one to Jose Ramirez. Walden playing here in his age 31 season. He throws a slider, a cutter, a four seam fastball, and a sinker. And he fouls this one off. The 
2 2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Another try at 2 2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Last half of the fifth coming up. Cleveland's out in front, four to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. He said it's been pretty apparent that they're just not finding a lot of hard contact today. There have been a lot of outs on softly hit balls. And while most of the credit for that goes to the opposing pitching, he said it's important for them to continue to make adjustments at the plate. It's games like these where they have to get back to the basics and find a way to generate some offense. Thank you, Heidi. So here's Michael Chavis now. He'll lead things off against the same reliever that finished off the last inning. Well, you don't see in this day too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. This guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. Fouled off. Now another one, two. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Michael Chavis is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Here's Jackie Bradley now. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. And a good heater as he just watches this baby a ball and a strike. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And now pitch on the way. Two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that, that just barely misses. Ooh, that's a tough one to get back. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. So now to the plate, Francisco Cervelli. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Will attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Domingo Santana. 
Domingo. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a ball, one and zero. Count one and zero. Santana in front, two balls and no strikes. Two balls, no strikes. In the dirt, it's 3 and 0 oh now. Greg Allen is on deck. Now the 3 and 0 oh offering. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Striding in once again, Greg Allen. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. The 1 0. Misses, ball two. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the 2 0. Nope. That's in time. And he gets the call there, three and one. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Scooped up to second for one, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Roberto Perez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ready. Here's the 1 0. Fouled away. Now a throw over to first and a dive, but he's back. A 1 1. Ball two. Runners off for second. In there. Now the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Well, they threw over there multiple times thinking he was going to try to swipe that bag. So they were onto him, but he just waited it out and took off when he had the chance. Nice job of base running there. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. And he lays off, so it's full now. Three and two. Runner at second here with one man out. There's ball four. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Now to the plate, Mike Freeman. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. First pitch on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. 
I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Late that time for a strike. Sky down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Softly hit out towards short. So well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in. Delino to Shields. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two down, runners at first and second. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. Oh, and no time to get him at first, not with his speed, and that'll go down as an infield single. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the chute from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. In now, Cesar Hernandez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Looking to wiggle out of this, here it is. Nope. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Two balls and a strike to Cesar Hernandez. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Moreland is there, and he'll take it to the bag himself. And a great job of pitching out of the bases loaded situation as the side is retired. A couple of walks, but no damage. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Hunter Wood enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 44, Hunter Wood. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. It'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. No left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball too high to start him out here, one and zero. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Pitch on the way. Line to the right side. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. 
And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Get the chainsaw out today, boys. If he's going to throw back to back cutters like that, we are going to have some guys getting some wood blown up in their hands. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. A runner at first with no outs here. And it's fouled away. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. There's one on to first, and they turn the double play. Now back, the designated hitter, So base is empty now after the double play. And next, the dangerous power threat, J.D. Martinez. First pitch of the at bat. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. One hits all they get. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Indians four, and the Red Sox nothing. Ready for another chance? Francisco Lindor. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready. Here's the first offering. One oh. Now the one oh is looked That's at for ball number two. Ball nope. Three, three and oh. Now here's the pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And with the bases empty, you don't feel bad about walking that guy. He's capable of taking deep every time he digs in, so it's not the worst thing in the world to work around him if you can. And that'll bring in Fran Moreyes. From the belt, kicks and deals. Nope. Nobody out, runner on first. Throw over to the bag. No, he's safe. Now the 1 0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now the 2-0. Line drive, base hit to right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Ryan Brazier comes on now, and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Oh, 
Jose Ramirez will be his first test out of the bullpen and it'll be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. From the belt the pitch. Here's a breaking ball but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. First and second here with nobody out. There's a change up taken but it finds the zone on the inside. Well they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. A one one it is swung on and missed for strike number two. Brazier. Playing here in his age 31 season, he was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Domingo Santana will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at bats of the ball game to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Now the 1 0 is high and outside for a ball. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. Down low, and the plot thickens here 3 and 0. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Three and one. Three and one with two on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. These guys on defense are still within striking distance but after that walk one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. In now Greg Allen and with every base occupied a big hit here could really put this one out of reach. He's set. Here it comes. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. From the belt, the pitch. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd, a foul ball. On the ground to the left side. The second for one on to Moreland and they roll two to end the inning. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. More baseball on the show right after this. half of the seventh here and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop Xander Bogart starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally lifted down the line in left and this will wind up a foul ball and he fouls this one off Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The one-two. Fouled off.
the one two is laid off for ball two. Hard on the ground towards short. He's got it. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on its way. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Striding into the box, Mitch Moreland. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no strike. Now the one and one pitch. Swinging a soft liner. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They're down four, nothing. Matt Barnes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 32, Matt. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Roberto Perez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Ball one. Count one and oh. Here's the 1 0. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. The Red Sox entered the day looking to wrap up a big series sweep, but it's going to take some late game heroics in order to make that a reality. Never easy to sweep any team, but this is a close one, and there's an old saying in baseball a bloop and a blast. And if they can stay close, get a base hit, get somebody to hit one out of the ballpark, they're not out of this one yet. Ready with the 3 0 pitch. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. The 3 and 1 pitch. And this will be nowhere close as his control deserts him here. It's a five pitch walk. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. Ready for another shot now. Mike Freeman hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. The 1 0 home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. All coming on hard as he makes the diving catch. And this throw gets away from him. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. 
So the Indians lineup flips over and to the plate Delino De Shields is working on a one for three thus far. He's set and the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Standing in now, Cesar Hernandez. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. Popped him up. Chavis waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Indians leave one, but they hold a 4 to nothing lead. Dominic Leone is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Dominic Leone. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go is the second baseman, Michael Chavis. Here comes the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. Fastball just missed above the zone. Got his 2 0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2 and 1. And now, pitch on the way. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. It bangs off the billboard and it's out of here. A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. As they get on the board, it's four to one now. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. At the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 0. This one's also hit well. Deep down the right field line. But it bends just foul into the second deck. He pulls this one into right. Reyes is there, one away. Now batting, catcher, Francisco. Go belly. Stepping into the box, Francisco Cervelli. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. From the stretch, inner third let go. It's a called strike.
One and one. One out, nobody on. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. The pitch. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Swing and a liner. And that'll slice just foul at the last moment. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, that was a slider and a 3 2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So with a left handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left hander out of the bullpen. Number 33. Brad. Andrew Benintendi will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh, Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. And the fastball hitting 93 on the one gun. It's 1-1. One and one. Slider is in there, and now it's one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Pulled toward right center field. Here comes the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So striding in, Alex Verdugo. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Pitch coming, here it is. 1 0. Ready with the 1 0. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. Ninth inning straight ahead. It's now a 4 1 game. Heath Hembry enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. All set to start the ninth in this one and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering grounded to the right. And that is into right field. So the leadoff man's aboard here to kick off the ninth. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning here in the ninth. Add-on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, d -Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one-run lead. To the plate now, Fran Reyes. One ball, no strikes to count. One oh home. Hey. One and two now. A runner at first with no outs here. Hey. 
And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. At the plate, Jose Ramirez. He swings and misses, throw down. He's in time from Cervelli to get him. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base run. Here's the 0-1. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a check swing here, appealed down to third. But James Kingsley says he held up. Ball one. The one and two pitch. Bouncer to the left side. Devers has it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Indians there, but they lead it four to one. Oliver Perez comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 39, Oliver Perez. set for the bottom of the ninth and into bat next one of the best run producers in the land J.D. Martinez a not impossible but highly improbable even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy they've got the work cut out for him in tight here with the first pitch fastball that's one and oh Perez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Allen is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. And now a pitch on the way. Sliced hard on the ground. Throw on to first, and now the Red Sox are down to their final out. Digging in once again, Rafael Devers. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The pitch. Uh, Perez with a good fastball there to start the at bat. No balls and a strike. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack. But also, the guy on the mound's got to eat, too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Last strike now for the Red Sox. And this is a strike three called and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. And the score finishes four to one today. The Indians used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Nick Whitgren claims the win out of the pen his first. Oliver Perez earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.